guys, it's Huff, and this is going to be my last empties for 2016. Yes, it is the end of 2016. So, let's get straight into it. The first thing I have is I have four things that have been in current projects. So I have the Burt's Bees lip balm in pink grapefruit. I absolutely love this, and when I don't have, like, six lip balms, I will probably go and buy a new one. I have the Neon & Co treatment oil for hair, it looks like water, feels like water, I'm not really sure it does anything for your hair. The Nivea uh, day cream from the Essentials line has all gone. And the Organic Care Nourishing Body Wash in Fig and Papaya. I don't really like the scent on this one so I would not be buying it. Then on to what is in my basket. I have a lot of shampoos and conditioners. I spent a lot of time in the last month using up a whole bunch of ones that had just a little bit left in them that were sitting in the shower. So we have the Garnier Fructus Color Last Shampoo and Conditioner. And they're done. There's still a little bit in the conditioner, but I love that. I also have the L'Oreal El Viv. Um, these are the anti hair fall ones. They're okay, I don't think they did anything different. And we have the Mark Daniels Blue Cypress Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the one my hair was blonde. Oops. Um, it hasn't been blonde for a little while now, but I thought I should probably use them up. These are like blue ones so that they toned bleached hair. Um, I don't notice that they really did very much for that. We have the L'Oreal Skin Perfection 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Oil. I actually really didn't like this one very much. I didn't find that it took off my makeup any better than any of the other ones that I've actually tried and I don't think my skin liked this one which was weird because it looks exactly the same as all the rest of them but yeah, I, I didn't like this one as much. I know Tamara J really likes this one, but yeah, I didn't like that one very much. Um, I have two of the Lacura uh, makeup browns. You see these in every one of my empties. They're uh, lower priced than basically everything else around here, so I just keep on buying them. They're about uh, just under half the price of my favourite ones. <laughs> Um, I have this Designer Browns Brow Pen, it's kind of like a eyeliner for your brows, but it's got like no real pigment to it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be blonde, but you should be able to see it at least. Um, I have two double-ended eye pencils that I found in my kit I think it was and I'd thrown out all the other ones I had of these because they were like so old and stuff and yeah so these are de-stashed. I have this lipstick which I f when I was doing my makeup collection I realized that it's super duper dry like draggy kind of dry um, it still smells alright, but it seems so dry that I think it would just be uncomfortable to actually wear. So, de-stashing that one. And then I have three mascaras, which if you watched my makeup collection, you would have seen these three mascaras from LA Color Bold Color Lash. I really like these, but they're um, broken. All three of them are the same. So that one is the electric blue. Um, this one is the totally teal, which is like a let's see it, like a metallic teal, really cool. And this one is a majestic purple. And I mean, I suppose I could get a disposable makeup wand and shove it in there, but I'm not going to. So that is everything for this month. That was $139.80 worth of product either used or de-stashed from my collection. That brings my year-end 
total to $1,081.55. Not quite as much as the year before, um, but I think I priced things a little differently this year. I think last year I priced samples on what their price per quantity top was. This year I've just done um, a flat $3 per sample because that's what they work out to, to the box price. Um, so this year I have used or de-stashed 113, 133 items that appeared in my little book. Um, so there, there might have been a few more that I didn't actually count in the book, but they were the ones that I counted in the book. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's not the worst effort I've ever made, and at least I know I'm working through stuff and using stuff up. So I will be doing empties again next year, hoping to be a little bit more focused than I have been, especially in the last couple of months. <laughs> Try to remember to do them monthly for a start. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click down the bottom and click the bell so you get notifications. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.